Hi everyone, welcome again to another session of Learning Together. I am Christian and this is Literary Criticism Series. In today's session, we are going to learn about formalist criticism. But before that, if you are new to this channel, please subscribe and tap the notification bell for you to be notified on my next videos. Alright, formalist criticism or formalism was developed in um, 1920s to 1930s and it picked or it bloomed in the 1940s to 1960s as it was a reaction of the biographical and the traditional historical uh, criticism. Using this approach, a critic can show how the various parts of the work are welded together to make the organic whole. It examines the text as a self-contained object, meaning to say it focuses on the text itself and nothing else, okay? So meaning, it does not concern on the biographical information about the author, the historical events outside the story, or any mythological patterns or psychological traits except those uh, which are presented directly or overtly in the text. Okay, so in formalism, the text is considered as the art, and the autonomy of the text is really regarded or advocated. Okay, according to formalist criticism, the purpose of literature is to make the stones stonier. Why is that so? Because we really have to single out every word in the text to arrive at a unified whole or to arrive at certain meaning it's like um it's like the words have this strong relationship with each other it's like a spider web that every strand of the web matters in the creation of the entire web all right Formalists believe that it is not possible to understand words without first understanding the relationship that exists between them and the symbol that signifies them. Even words have their relationship. They believe that every aspect of the text is integral and the text possesses all the meaning necessary for interpretation. All of the factors outside the text are being disregarded, okay? So meaning to say that a formalist critic would really examine the form of the work as a whole. He will focus on uh, every part of the text, the characters, the settings, the tone, the point of view, the diction, and all other elements of the text. When you use formalist criticism or new criticism in analyzing literary pieces, you really have to go back to the basic. You have to go back to its elements. Whether uh, it is a story, you have to go back to the elements of a short story. Or if you are analyzing a poem, you have to go back to the elements of poetry. Okay? The primary method or strategy for formalism is really close reading the text must be read carefully okay and one of the consistent challenge or feature of formalist criticism is uh, the emphasis of tension and ambiguity now what is tension tension is the way elements of the text language reflect conflict and opposition when there is no opposition in the text, it, uh, it makes the text flat and boring and no one will read that. However, we have to look at the beauty of tensions in the text. How these oppositions create the un unified whole and ambiguity there, uh, the way texts remain open to more than single, unifies, or definitive interpretation. Uh, when you do formalist uh, analysis, more or less you will be answering these guide questions here, okay? So, this one here, groups here will lead you to the analysis of its plot, 
What is the relationship of each part of the work to the work as a whole? How are the parts related to one another? How is the work structured or organized? So basically, the questions here pertaining to uh, the questions here are pertaining to plot. And this one here, who is narrating or telling what happens in the work? Okay, so this um, now the analysis of the other element of a story, the point of view. And then the, uh, here, who are the major and the minor characters? Basically, this um, analyze the characters. Okay? And this one here, the time and place, this is the setting. And more or less, the questions here will reveal you uh, the theme. Of the particular text or of the particular literary piece okay so when using formalist criticism uh, you don't have to travel uh, you don't have to look for anything else just focus your attention to the text I hope you are learning if so don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and if you have questions just write them in the comment section see you again on my next video